Hello, my name is Mark Kynes and I'm a construction manager in the West Midlands. I've been with the waterway for 20 years. It is part of my day job to work on big construction projects like this one here at Knoll Lock. We are here standing in the bottom at Knoll Lock 49 on the Grand Union Canal. Most people never get the chance to see in the bottom of an empty lock. So here's your chance. If you have a look around, you will see there are lots of mud, bricks and lock gates. As you can see, it's a bit muddy at the bottom of the lock and we still have water in the bottom. So we need to have our pumps running to enable us to work in the bottom of the lock. We need to have the lock empty and fully drained so that we're enabled to carry out the works in the lock chamber. We're replacing the lock gates, which are approximately 25 years old and they've come to the end of their working life. So the old gates have been craned out and they will be taken away to be recycled. The new gates have been lifted in and they are now being fitted to create a good seal. Each gate is made to measure by our gate makers at Bradley Workshops. All the lock gates are different sizes and the gate makers at Bradley have detailed working drawings in order to make them to a perfect fit. The bottom end gates are approximately five meters tall and the top end gates are approximately two and a half meters tall. In order to reduce the leakage at the top gates, the top gates will be refitted creating a fresh new seal to prevent water loss. We are replacing the existing lock ladders with new lock ladders to bring them up to current health and safety standards. The locks do suffer from wear and tear with the thousands of boaters that go through them every year. So it is important that we keep the canals open for boaters and local people who use the towpath. It is relatively easy to drain the lock. You probably haven't noticed, but in the lock walls there are grooves cut in. These grooves are for something called stop planks. Stop planks are made to measure pieces of wood that we slide into the grooves. These are stacked on top of one another and essentially hold the water back. Once in place, in order to drain the lock, initially we open the ground paddles at the top end of the lock to drain the top side and then we place pumps into the bottom of the lock and start and pump the chamber dry. Stop planks are traditionally sealed using ash and grass sods cut from the banks around to prevent the water coming through. Although the ash does do a great job in helping stop the leaks through the planks, we still need to have pumps in place to keep the water down as the seal is not perfect. The works we're doing on no lock should take approximately six weeks so that we can reopen the canal in time for Christmas. The cost of these works in total is approximately £175,000. This is a big project and we've had to have some specialist equipment to help us. Where we are, we are surrounded by fields and actually getting to the lock is a bit of a logistical problem. One of the biggest challenges we faced was how to get the specialist crane to site to help us to lift the lock gates. This crane is called a spider crane as when it's sitting over the lock chamber it resembles a spider. The crane helps us to lift the three and a half ton gates. Without the crane would have really struggled to do this job. So this is what we traditionally call the plug hole and it feeds the sun pole behind me. The sun pole is the area where we place the pump to pump the water out to keep it as low as physically possible in the lock. This is the sun pole. This is where we keep the pump head. All the water drains into this part and the pump then pumps it back over and back into the canal itself. This is the actual plug that we removed from the plug hole, the other side of the lock gates when we were draining down before we started work. This massive hole here is where the water comes into the lock chamber when the ground paddle is wound up at the top end of the lock. It takes approximately 76,000 gallons of water to fill a lock chamber up. 
this is a ground paddle that we use to drain the lock in order to lower the water to allow the boats to pass out. The ground paddle is connected to the hydraulic mechanism at the top of the lock. The Which lock gearing is at the top of the lock. You use your windlass to turn that and open it and that then in turn opens the ground paddle. This is one of our lock gates. As you can see, they are absolutely massive. They weigh approximately three and a half tons and they are constructed predominantly of oak with odd bits of metal.